for a set of nails inspired by my favorite show, Stranger Things season three. Your client walks in and loves Stranger Things. She wants a set of nails inspired by this amazing show. She brings you these pictures and she wants you to create something, maybe not so literal, something that she can wear every single day. I'm excited to explore the pricing on this set of nails. I don't have that answer. Good thing we've got the pro that does. Let's go talk to our very own Stephanie Fountain and discuss exactly how she's gonna execute this set of nails. I'm really excited about this set because this is probably one of my favorite series in the whole wide world, Stranger Things. And Stephanie is gonna do a set of nails for us representing this amazing, beautiful, lovely, <laughs> awesome show. <laughs> Steph, walk us through what you're gonna do on this set of nails. So uh, we were thinking just kind of a Stranger Things vibe, a yeah. little less literal, not exactly characters on every nail. Totally. Um, so they kind of have the spooky smoke look. Right. And then this is season three. So a little bit of hand painting in there to tie it all in together. Right, right. So we're going to go a little more abstract and kind of like inspired set versus like, like you said, the characters, correct? Yep. Okay, cool. I love it because you're going to throw some hand painting. You're going to do gel or acrylic. What are you going with? Uh, we're going to sculpt the nails out of the precision gel applicators. Nice. And then we'll be doing the design with gel polish and mission control gel paint. Awesome. I can't wait to see how much. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, first we're gonna get started with the products we're gonna use. We have our Synergy Gel Base, our new Precision Gel Applicators in Concealer Pink and Clear Sculptor, our Look Don't Touch in Go Time and White Manicure. I'll also be using Black Mission Control Overdrive and our Red Liquid Art. Let's get started with the demo. Okay, first we're gonna start by pushing back the cuticle. Not gonna worry about it too much. We're kind of just assessing the nail. And we're gonna get that medium cross cut bit. And we're just gonna go up right around the cuticle area. I'm working with the electric file on about a five. So this is just gonna get nice and tight into our cuticle and then remove the shine from our natural nail. Take care of any products that may be left over. We're gonna take a clean manicure brush with some swipe and just dust off that dust and debris. Make sure it's nice and dehydrated. Now I'm gonna take my protein bond and apply that from cuticle to free edge all over the whole nail and go through and apply that to all 10 fingers and then come back and do it a second time just to make sure that we don't have any issues with lifting. Okay, I'm gonna take my form Okay, I'm gonna take my concealer pink precision gel and just sculpt out the free edge. Make sure you get that nice and attached to her natural nail. Squeeze out more as you need it. And then just kind of guide that down to the desired length. that's attached on both sides. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our light. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take her out of the light and get our face gel and apply a nice even layer of that. Apply a nice even layer from cuticle to free edge, just brushing it out over that extension that we just created. When you're applying base after you've already created your extension, it just kind of eliminates the risk of having any holes right here along the free edge. So it's just kind of like anchoring that extension down. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the light for about 45 seconds while we work on her other hand. And I'm gonna use uh, my spatula here to go ahead and help me pop off that form. That way I know I'm not gonna break the gel when I start to pull it off. And then just remove that form off the edge. And I'm gonna go back to my Concealer Pink Precision Gel Applicator. I'm gonna squeeze a good amount of product out at the cuticle and then just kind of start pillowing that up and around near her cuticle while I'm pointing her finger down. Pointing her finger down is gonna keep me from flooding the cuticle area and allow gravity to kind of work for me and pulling that product down to the stress area where you need to have more of your gel. And as I start to get down through the body of the nail, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit more out and just kind of swing that back and forth to give me that shape that I'm looking for. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm gonna look at it from the side to make sure I don't need any more product right here in the stress area, which I did. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more and then kind of kick off that tail. And go ahead and grab our light. And I'm gonna put her in the light on our low heat setting. So what that's gonna do is gradually increase every 30 seconds so that there's no heat spike. We're gonna take her out of the light and clean off that sticky dispersion layer. I'm gonna go ahead and file this off camera, get the rest of the nails on, and we'll get back to you with the design. Okay, so we've filed and shaped all of our nails. So I'm gonna take my protein bond and apply that from cuticle to free edge on all 10 nails. This is just gonna eliminate any chipping of the gel polish. Next, I'm gonna take my Look Don't Touch Go Time and apply that from cuticle to free edge. And the Go Time has really, really good pigmentation, so I'm actually only gonna need one coat. And now I'm gonna take my white manicure. I'm gonna create like a smoke effect by just placing some of the white manicure back here towards the cuticle area, kind of just plopping it around. No real specific design. And now I'm gonna take my swipe and a gel brush. And I'm just gonna use the swipe to dilute some of that white, giving me a nice like smoke effect. And just kind of dabbing it around. If you want more of the black to show, use more swipe. If you want more of the white look, then use less. It's just kind of gonna disperse that color before you cure it in the light. looks good go ahead and get her in the light for 30 seconds and now what I'm gonna do is take my tile and a little bit of my clear sculpt in the precision applicator and I'm gonna mix a couple of colors so I'm gonna just gonna squeeze out the amount that I need and then same thing over here and I'm going to use my red liquid art and just drop a few drops in this is gonna give like a clear kind of blood jelly look. And I'm gonna take my look, don't touch, go time, and just a little dab on that other. So this is gonna give us like a sheer black and just start mixing. I wanted this to be pretty dark, so I added a lot of liquid art. I'm just gonna mix it around until it turns smooth. So same thing, just kind of working it in. So now what I'm gonna do is just brush over top of the white that I have cured in the light. I'm just gonna take some of my red and just kind of brush that over. And then work in some of the black. 
And all of it's just kind of gonna blend together, giving a cool like dark smoke look. So just kind of keep mixing that around and some of the black will show through and then some more of the red. Kind of like a spooky, spooky dark smoke look. Just kind of adding more gel wherever I feel necessary till I get the look that I want. Okay, stick that in the light for about 45 seconds while I work on the other hand. And now I'm gonna take my black mission control and take a little bit out on my tile. And we're gonna Go ahead and draw a three for the logo of the Stranger Things season three. gonna stick that in the light and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the nails and we'll get back to you with the final look. Okay, we're done with this Stranger Things inspired set. I am dying to know, Stephanie, how much? 110. $110. I would definitely pay this. There's no question because I love the series so much. Can you explain how you got to that pricing? Do you want me to do a set on you? Please. We'll have the, you can have the Stranger Things. Hands and toes, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's Stranger Things. The base price for the full set is 90. And then we have an additional 10 because we use the liquid art. And then an additional 10 for the hand painting with the smoke and the little three. So 110. Perfect. $110 for this set. If you're a fan like I am, you will pay it. No questions asked. Stephanie, thank you. I really love the set. Great job. Thank you. See you next week on How Much.